Today we're talking about Skylum Luminar 4, which uses AI technology to edit photos. I am out of focus. Sam, you are doing a terrible, look, how about you do your freaking job? I am sorry. <laughs> what are we talking about today, Gene? First heard of it when Sam was playing around with photos and look at this. You mean these works of art, Gene? Is yes, that what you mean? Exactly. Look at this. With the moon, what? This was a very cloudy day. Why is there a sun here all of a sudden? Rainbow? I had fun with it, Gene. And the giraffe. Okay, quick question. If a giraffe could wear a tie, where would he wear it? Up here or down? Here. Sam, we gotta stay focused here. Nice edit of the motorcycle. Eagle, and these were pretty easy to do. Yeah, it took me like three minutes at most. And I was like, oh, that's fun, that's cool. But now a few months later, it's honestly become my primary way to edit photos. And good news, they're a sponsor of today's video. So we are doing a giveaway with a few licenses to Luminar 4. Now, the reason why I'm loving this is because it feels kind of like editing software from the future. It uses a lot of the same tools that we're already familiar with, but they're powered by AI. Now, before you even start editing, Luminar analyzes each image and it detects certain things like the sky, faces, where your eyes are, nose, mouth, lips, teeth. And this AI was actually trained by watching watching many professional photographers go through an editing workflow. It studies them and basically tries to condense that complicated workflow into as few clicks as possible. For example, structure. I like to add structure into a lot of my photos, but I usually don't like what it does to skin tones. It makes it look really gritty. But Luminar has AI structure, so you can still add that structure, but it avoids adding it to skin tones. Wow, tell me more, Gene. <laughs> Why do you look like an infomercial? Your face just looks like an infomercial right I now. don't know what you're talking about, Gene. Please continue. This is going to be a long day, guys. Order in the next five minutes and you'll receive this beautiful hand cloth. No, we can't <laughs> advertise that. We don't have hand cloths. What? <laughs> Tell you what, how about we just go out on a mini photo shoot and let me just show you some of these tools. Let's go. I'm ready for my close up. Not pictures of you, Sam. Pictures of me. He's always trying to steal my limelight. There's no limes here. This is why I have the big light and you have that little light. But this one looks way cooler than that light. I look like I have an idea all the time. But look how big my light is. It's not the size of the light that matters, James. One thing to keep in mind is that I am not a professional photographer. I am a video guy. But this man is right here. He's a professional wedding photographer in Los Angeles. He put a nice title here. You have to do a pose and then we'll put in like dope music. You'll be like, Bwah! and we'll block out the background. Uh, no, that's kind of, no, that's, <laughs> you need a different pose. Just do one of these. Uh, huh? I think we could work with that. I think that was a pretty good graphic there. Okay, so the real reason why I brought you out here. Have you heard of this software called Luminar 4? Yes, I have, my friend. Yeah, you I, have? I just bought it. Probably about a month ago. You already bought it? Yes. Is that what we're here? You for Luminar 4? Basically, I was supposed to be like, you gotta check out this software, Luminar 4. And you'd be like, what is Luminar 4? And then I show you to Tell it. Me and more. then you're like, whoa, this is awesome. Wait, but you already bought it? Yes, I bought it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Will you make me look beautiful? Yeah. Kay. Especially with Luminar 4. <laughs> Photo shoot time. You have to jump at the same time and make a graphic. Ready? <laughs> okay, location number one, we're gonna use this sphere looking thing. Mr. Gene, what's your good side? All, everything, right? <laughs> Life is great, and here we go. One, two, three. Left foot here. Yes, sir. Up here. Up here. Look at this guy. Now put your leg here and do the splits and do that with your hair and uh, eyes. Eyes, do some stuff with your eyes and do the thing with your ear where you flare it and just. Uh. Location number two, this huge anchor right here. Just like that, just chilling. One, two. Hey again. Frank, be honest. Am I the best model you've ever had? <laughs> We're gonna be using some of this as a reflector that's kind of lighting up his face over here. So look at me. Fantastic. Next location. You're used to shooting these beautiful women, but now you have dorky ass Gene. How are you gonna make him look good? <laughs> that's the secret of Luminar 4 right there. What do you mean? You don't need no secrets. How long do you think it'll be before security kicks us out of here? I say 20 minutes. I'm gonna say two minutes. I love your poor smile, Gene. I know, it's so hard. <laughs> How do people smile for this for so long? Let's go ahead and load some stuff in. You've never done the batch processing. No, no, no. I didn't oh. even know you could do that. Man, yeah. okay. I'm glad that I could at least show you something yeah. on this app. Let me just see what you would do so, in uh, this software here. Here we go, face light. So this is pretty cool because it can brighten up your face some right here. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see exactly what we're doing. 
Why'd you just slim my face? You think yeah, I need, I need you, you what's good. wrong with my face? We're slimming the background, we're slimming the background. We can improve your eyebrows some, pretty cool. Now I know how you really feel about me. <laughs> Look at that, all the way to 100%. That's too high. Let's Looks not like do that, let's not do that. No, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and here we go, here we go, teeth whitening. Oh, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. So you're cool. saying I need to go get my teeth whitened Just a little bit, just saying. only 53%. I don't want this lip redness, yeah, okay? No, I, I, I look too pretty. Okay, so this is a simple pass of before and after. Everything that has AI in front of it, so AI portrait enhancer, AI skin enhancer. A lot of the stuff that we did, even things like contrast, they're smart contrast, these edits are relative. So for example, when you do the face light, it's not like a definite, just make everything brighter or mm -hmm. darker. It's only make the face brighter, right? So what's cool is you could just hit this photo that we're working on, Command C to copy, and we're gonna go ahead and select all of these photos in that location, right? When we copy and paste that effect, it applies face light to all yes. of them. It's not like you have to manually go in and find where the face yes. is and expose that differently, yes. right? It makes these same smart adjustments to all these photos. So you, you know, making my face a little skinnier, which I don't think is necessary, but sure, you went ahead and did it by 53%, that's fine. I'm not gonna cry myself to sleep tonight, don't worry about it. At least, like, see, this is a photo that we haven't even seen yet and it's already has all that work done. This changes the game completely. If I like this, and because it's almost the same settings, I can yeah. apply it to that one picture. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely use this for weddings, big time. And also you use it with Photoshop and Lightroom? Yes. Right, so it's, is, is it like a plugin or? It's like a plugin, yeah. Oh, okay, uh -huh. cool. Yeah. Nice. So export it out from Lightroom directly into um, Luminar 4. And then when I save it, it saves back into Lightroom itself mm -hmm. with the settings applied. I also give them props on their interface. This interface, this whole menu, oh. this, all this, very simple. They were saying that was one of the things that they were focused on is making sure that even if you're an expert or a beginner, you can look at this interface and go, oh, okay, yeah. I enhance and then a slider. So I think anyone can just kind of look at them and go, oh, okay, I want this much. Opposed to I enhancing, you know, in a more traditional manual method, it's not hard once you know how, but it's, it can be a little bit tedious if you're trying to do that to 25 photos. Well, I got it really for the, the portrait enhancer and uh, I've been using it a lot and I love it, man. The portrait enhancer really does work. I still haven't experimented with the sky replacement and anything else, but when it comes to enhancing the faces, uh, I've been living in Luminar 4 with that. Well, one of the things I thought was cool is like skin enhancer, it doesn't just smoothen out your no, skin, make it look like plastic. No. It actually maintains that texture, yeah. but then it still detects the blemishes. Mm -hmm. oh. And you can brush it in as well. You know, I have a chipped tooth right there. Is there a chipped tooth filter? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think Luminar, that's get on that, please. That's another program. <laughs> <laughs> on Luminar 5, you're gonna see a chipped chip tooth, tooth slider. <laughs> so did I did I end up actually teaching you oh, something? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah I, I taught Frank yeah. something. I'm gonna buy this program again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks Frank. You can find Frank on... What? Nuclear Photo 64? No, 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 no. Hold oh on. my God, see so you just, he just <laughs> buy, I'll just put it on the screen right here, <laughs> boom. You need to get better at plugging yourself, oh, man. man. You just blew it. You, blew it. you messed it up. Now the pictures are coming out good because now we're using this lens right here. 28 to 70, F2 all, all the, the way. way F2 though, what the heck? And you guys just sitting there? It's magic. I'm creating magic right now, so shut up and look that way and just let me do my thing. Cool. Okay. Cool. Sam, it's epic except for you have to point the camera this way. All right, fine. There. So we've gone ahead, loaded up a few more photos that we need to edit. Personally, my favorite thing about Luminar is how fast you can get a photo to look pretty dang good. Usually when I start, I either go into looks. You can go ahead and just sample a couple different looks here. Day at the beach. Oh, that actually looks pretty decent. That was one click off and on. And if that's too much, you could always tone it down, bring it down to you know maybe 50% or whatever, but that looks pretty decent right there. Fashionable, 
Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Let's go ahead and reset the adjustments and we'll just quickly go through and edit so you can see how fast we can actually get an image looking pretty good. I'll just go through a couple of the tools that I like using. AI Enhance is generally a pretty decent spot to start and it generally gets your image to the ballpark of what the AI thinks it should be. That's looking pretty cool actually. So you could leave that there. And AI Sky Enhancer that brings in a lot of the details in the skies. Clouds back here just kind of brings that in without affecting the rest of the image. So already pretty useful. And then AI structure, we already talked about that a little bit earlier, but it's affecting the image, the house, his skin a little bit, but not as much as it usually would. So it's really good at detecting what it should and should not add structure to. Love that. Something as simple as vignette, if you're into that, we can go ahead and let's add a little bit there. Of course, you can adjust your size and you can also go into your advanced settings and you can also add a little bit of inner light, which is kind of cool. Now we can hop over to the create creative tab where you can get creative. Now dramatic is kind of cool. You can go ahead and add that, get that kind of sportsy, crispy look. There's also the matte look, which exactly how it sounds, you know, mystical, boom, glowy, magical. And a lot of people love the sky replacement feature here. And again, you don't have to go in and tell the software where the sky is. It generally detects it pretty accurate for the most part. See there, yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'll choose a dramatic sunset. Let's do that. Whoa, all right. And then of course you go in and tweak it like your sky's exposure, make it look a little bit more natural. Sky defocus, especially if you're running a fast aperture, it makes it definitely blend in a lot more. But you see how all this was kind of done with just a couple of clicks. So we have our before and after before and after with just a couple clicks. So that is really why I'm obsessed with this app. Let me go ahead and take that same look, paste it onto this photo, see how it comes out. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's definitely extravagant. You don't have to go that far, but it definitely blew my mind how easy it was to get these kinds of results. And here, I'd probably wanna add some face light. So let's go to the portrait. Oh, too much, too much. There we go, just like somewhere Right around there is probably where I'll put it. So no face light, face light, no face light, face light. Before, after, before, after. I mean, come on. You could also load in your own skies as well. So that's something that I might need to do one of these days is go out, get a bunch of different photos of the sunset. Oh, you know what filter would go good on this is the dramatic filter. Let's go back to the creative tab, dramatic, Let's add a little bit, yeah. And then I think we just need to add in a little bit of AI Enhance just to get the exposures, fix that up for me. And ha, oh, looking pretty good right there. But look at that, it looks pretty clean. Before, after, before, after, oh yeah. All right, let's see what this looks like with, let's do, ooh, Starry Night. What's that gonna look like? Whoa! <laughs> And this shot already has a pretty good sky. It's a little bit blown out, but all I would probably do here is just add in a little bit of that accent, which brought up the exposure on the subject, and then just do this AI sky enhancer, bring in some of that detail back in. Of course, you still have your general controls, like your color temperature, because this is a raw photo. I've always been a big fan of curves, so you have that control right there. And I believe this is your levels right here, but it's kind of mixed in with your curves right there. It's pretty cool. Ooh, dodge and burn. This is something that I usually hit every photo with, with at least some sort of pass. Let's see if I want to darken this area. I can go, I just want to bring that sky in a little bit more. Oh, that was too strong. I should, probably should have adjusted the strength there, but you can also take your overall amount, bring it back down because we just went too far with it. Gonna add a little bit of glow on them. I'm doing a real sloppy job, but you guys get the point, right? I'm just slightly redirecting a little bit of attention to the subject, but Look at that. Here's a photo I kind of want to put on Instagram. I'm just going to go ahead, go into my looks. Let's just do day at the beach. I mean, that probably is going to get me really close. Yeah, already one click. And since it was just July 4th, why don't I go in and do some augmented sky? This is the stuff that Sam was going crazy with. Ooh, let's do fireworks. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to do is place this object. Let's put it right here. And there, Instagram photo edited in six and a half seconds, or maybe it was like 20 seconds. It was quick though. Another thing that's nice about Luminar is that it isn't subscription based. So you buy it outright, you have it. It looks like they're also giving us a discount, $25 off. Info down there, link in description. And of course, giveaway, we're giving away three licenses. So if you want a chance to win, just drop a comment within the first 12 hours of this video going live, you'll have a chance to win. And there's more stuff here. You can make a code that'll give $10 off any sky pack on the marketplace. So if you fall in love with the sky replacement feature, there's a whole bunch more to choose from. Oh, 
Some of these look cool. Power of nature, that was lightning, what? And they also offer 30 days money back. So, you know, you could try risk-free. But yeah, that's all I got for today's episode. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Le next, what? I can't speak. Who am I, Frank? Thank you.